A picture-perfect evening in downtown Toronto where a Canadian championship will be crowned this evening. Toronto FC and the Vancouver Whitecaps meeting in the second leg of the Amway Canadian Championship and the Voyagers Cup. And the starting lineups are brought to you by BMO, proud to support youth soccer across Canada. There is Toronto's starting 11, most importantly, Torsten Frings in there. It's the only change Toronto has made. He is in for Terry Dunfield. And for the Vancouver Whitecaps, a few changes. They started their younger players up front in their last league match, but it's Eric Hasley gets the start tonight. How could you not start him after what he did in the match a week ago with that tremendous volley? Hall with it. Nice little move there. Lays it back to Frings. Springs, there's Plata! Just off the post! What a ball by Torsten Frings. Left foot swinging in, perfectly placed. Top of the six yard box. Plata was doing some battling in there. Sees the ball late coming over the shoulder and can't get a lot on it. Reggie Lamb was streaking for the middle of the box. The ball never got there. Now it's Avila. Avila for Lamb. Flips it back. Plata goes down. Toronto appeal for a penalty. None given. Well, wow, Torsten Frings is all over the official. I mean, there was definitely contact with uh, the hand. As you watch it, number 27 there comes up, hits the arm. Bonjour. Ball to hand, handball, in the opinion of the referee. Petrescu, ball to hand. That would have been pretty hard. The 23-year-old Brazilian with three goals in MLS this year, including one in that 2-2 draw against Seattle last weekend. It's a good one in there, headed just wide. Vancouver with a golden opportunity there off the boot of Camilo. Inside the final 10 minutes now of the first half. Still looking for the game's first goal. The touch to Frings. Frings is shot! Smacked off the backboards behind the target. Well, he can deliver them left foot, right foot. You can strike them with both foot and feet as well. That was a nice strike. Just touch to the side, long range. Struck it really well. Johnson has it. Johnson, that's a good ball. Lamb couldn't get to it. Frings deflected. Oh, and it's the goal. He can't have that one across the line. Cannon got back. The crowd up in arms over that. And another foul. And now we've got some pushing and shoving. Oh, boy. He's getting into the mix. There was Latou. And then he's thrown to the turf. So a big mix up here now. Torsten Frings in the middle of it. The player that I most worry about on the field right now oh, is De Guzman. De Guzman. And De Guzman, it appeared as though he just slapped Davidson. And he's been red carded. And now Davidson has made a meal of that. De Guzman has literally just touched him. But I was just going to say he has to be careful because he did throw the two to the ground prior to that. And the Vancouver player is still down on the pitch. Jim Brennan trying to get De Guzman out of there. And there's another red card. Now this one for Latou, the two second yellow card. He's now off, and we're down to 10 men apiece. Okay, well, here's a record. Ruck is how it started there. De Guzman clatters in. He's trying to help up Lee at the time. All sorts is going on with Johnson and that. De Guzman then throws down Latou. Comes all the way through to Plata. Plata shot. An easy one for Cannon to deal with. Still up his knee. Three Toronto players. Schulzman in the middle, Johnson calling the forward to the left, Schulzman! Offside flag is up. Flag is up. I think a lot of the fans here still think that that's a goal, but the flag went up. It is no goal. Now Hall back to Morgan. Morgan sees an opening, goes for him. Back to Morgan, well played by Toronto. Look at Morgan! No wonder he's been called into the Canadian national team. Sewell's my back to Lamb. Lamb! Reggie Lamb! 1 0 Toronto! Well, we said it before. How is Toronto FC 0 8? I just don't get it. They're not. They're 0 9. They're 0 9. <laughs> That's right. But I tell you what, 
One thing we do know, it is 1-0 for Toronto FC in this match, and it's Reggie Lamb. Terrific finish from him, but it all started from aggressive work from Ashton Morgan, who drove down the wing, kept up with his front foot, playing on the front foot, finally get their just deserves. Toronto FC deserved to be 1-0 up. The free kick taken! Just misses just over the top of the crossbar. Referee Petrescu takes a look at his watch. Kosic will put it in play, and will that do it? Will Toronto FC 0-9 in the regular season in Major League Soccer come through and win their fourth straight Amway Canadian Championship? And yes, they will. The answer is yes. Toronto have won. We will now call on George Gross Jr to present the George Gross Memorial Trophy to the 2012 Amway Canadian Championship's Most Valuable Player. Please join Mr. George Gross Jr. in congratulating the 2012 recipient of the George Gross Memorial Trophy, Ryan Johnson of Toronto FC, as the Amway Canadian Championship MVP. We will now call on Ken McLean, Angela Abdallah, and Carmela Iani to present Toronto FC players and staff with their 2012 Champions Medals. So you wonder if this will be a turning point for Toronto FC's season. I suppose we'll have to wait until after that Philadelphia game on Saturday, but take nothing away from them. They will celebrate this. It'll be a quick turnaround for that all-important league game when they try and finally get a win. But this has to be a confidence booster, at least if nothing less. Nice to see Adrian Kent and a few Canadian players picking up their medal here for Toronto FC's fourth title in four years. We'll now call on Toronto FC's captain, Torsten Frings, as representative of the 2012 Amway Canadian Championship winning team to join Ken McLean to accept the Voyager's Cup. Please join us in congratulating Toronto FC for capturing their fourth consecutive Amway Canadian Championship title. As Canadian champions, Toronto FC will now advance to represent Canada in the 2012-2013 CONCACAF Champions League.